Okay, next we're going to check out the track manager in Reaper. Now to get to the track manager, we're going to go up over here to view and go down here to track manager. And as you can see, there's also a keystroke. Shift control M on PC, shift command M on Mac. And as you learn the keystrokes, you'll notice it's a lot quicker to open and close these windows. Close them and open them. So here's the track manager. The purpose of this is to make it easy to deal with our tracks, the ones over here. As you can see, we've created a bunch of tracks. We got some drums, some bass tracks, some guitar tracks, a lead vocal, some background vocal tracks, and some effects tracks. Now to make it easy to deal with these and do certain functions, we can use the track manager. So let's open it back up. The first thing we could do with this is show and hide tracks. Let's say you work with the lead vocal down over here. Let's make it a little bigger. And let's say you want to duplicate it and try something different with it. Maybe edit it differently, maybe try some different automation, or maybe you comp the vocal and you want to keep the original pieces intact. So let's duplicate this one and we'll name it backup. So now we have two vocals that are identical. So after we work with this one, and get the automation or the editing exactly how we want, we don't really want to see this one anymore. We can mute it, but we're still going to see it. So if we don't want to remove it from our project, we could just hide it. So let's open the track manager again, go to this track right here, select it, and we can hide it from the track control panel over here, or the mixer, or both. But it's a good idea to mute it before you do that. Right here, we can mute it. This way it's not gonna play or use up any resources from our computer. Because if it's unmuted, it's still gonna play even if we hide it. So being able to show and hide your tracks is the main function of the track manager. Let's mute this. And we could also delete tracks from here. Right click and delete our selected tracks. And now it's gone from the project. Another use for the track manager is just to view it in either the track control panel or the mixer. For instance, down over here, we have some effects returns, the reverb and the delay. We don't really need to see that in your track control panel. There's no audio to edit, but you do want to see it in your mixer. So we can select them right here and hide them from the track control panel. So we no longer see them over here but they're still gonna show up in the mixer. Let's open the mixer. So here's our mixer, and here's our effects returns, reverb and delay. So it still shows up here, even though we don't see it in the track control panel. And we can do it the opposite way. Let's say we don't wanna see it in the mixer, but we do wanna see it in the track control panel. We see it here, but we no longer see it over here. So that's another good function of the track manager. You could select both tracks together and hide and show them from the track control panel or the mixer. Now another thing we could do is use our filter up here. Let's make this a little bit smaller so we can see most of the tracks. We could use this filter to select the tracks on the fly. For instance, these are all drum tracks right here. Instead of selecting them like this, we could select them using the filter. Just type in drums, and just our drum tracks show up over here. So then we could do things to the drum tracks, like take them out of here, let's select them all, so we don't see them in the track control panel or the mixer. Or we could do things like mute them, mute all the drums, solo them, we could lock them, which I'll show you later, or we could put them all on record. So all our drum tracks are on record right now. So using the filter, is a great way of finding things. Like our guitars, just the guitars show up, or the bass, just the bass shows up, and we can clear it so they all show up again. And down over here, there's a few more options. One, we could freeze our tracks on the fly. So if we wanna freeze the background vocals, just type it in, just these tracks show up, 
We could select them and choose to freeze them. And I'll show you what that means later. And down over here is even more options. We can mirror our track selection. So anything we select over here is selected over here as well, which makes it easy for deleting or creating a temporary group. If we want to group the guitars, type in guitar up here, select them right here, and then we can control it as a temporary group. Because what we select over here winds up being selected over here, and vice versa. If we select the bass over here, the bass is now selected over here. Another option down over here is to hide our filtered out tracks. We can do it in the track control panel or in the mixer. So let's choose to filter it out in the track control panel. So now if we type in guitar, only the guitar tracks show up over here. So we can make them bigger for editing purposes, work on the guitars, come back over here, clear it, and all our tracks come back. Or our drums, just the drums show up over here. And we could do the same thing for the mixer. So just the drums show up in our mixer. And if we clear the filter, it all shows back up again. Another nice option I kind of like is to close the track manager after you use the filter. So if we choose this and type in background vocals, if I hit return or enter, the track manager closes. So we can work on the guitars, make it a little bigger. Do we have to do? Then open it back up, clear our filter, hit return again, and the track manager is gone. It just saves one extra step. But I really find it useful for doing global things, like putting our drums, bass, and guitars all into record, or muting them all. Or so in the vocals. It's a little bit quicker than trying to find all things in this window here, where the tracks can be kind of big and you don't want to scroll through all of them. You can find them a lot quicker right from here. Type in lead vocal, and that's the only track we see. Right here, ready to be edited. So anyway, that's the track manager in Reaper. It's a very useful function for working on tracks globally. So let's move on. Oh!